Hey guys, welcome to Tracy's Place. Today I have a DIY for you that's less than $2 to make. It's very quick, very easy, and as I told you, very inexpensive. It'll save your backsplash and all your items around it. As you all, and as I do too, mostly everybody has the splatter screen for when you're making hamburgers, frying bacon, frying chicken, but when you go to turn your bacon or turn your burgers or flip your chicken, you still have to uncover it and grease goes everywhere. And when you have this splatter screen covered as I do with the aluminum foil on it, it just steams and it's harder to actually fry to a crisp because this is steaming your food. Okay, so, and I have items here like a lot of people do by their stove. I have this toaster, I have my utensils and different things like that. And um, I get tired of trying to cover everything or either remove it from right here when I have something to fry. So here is what I have for you. And here it is, you guys, your DIY splatter guard. And this is three cooling racks put together, very easy to make. And it keeps your items around on your stove. It keeps your stove top, your backsplash, and your items around your stove. It keeps them clean and you don't have to move them out of the way. I was constantly moving things out of the way or either having to wipe them down. So this takes care of everything. If you have a bigger pot or a bigger skillet, all you do is make one that is four screens. Okay? You would have this side here, these two in the back, and then another one adjacent to this one. And it'll come out like a U shape. But this is fine for me. I have a skillet a little bit bigger than this, but this is just fine because you can adjust it. So it works out just well. Uh, they have these online, but they are like $11 and some more. And most of them are flimsy that I have seen. So, this costs less than two dollars to make and it's very simple very easy very quick to make so please help somebody else out you guys share this on your facebook or you know share it in a text or messenger or instagram or whatever and help somebody else out that you may know because so many people have this problem of splattering grease everywhere all right so let me show you how to get this made all right, guys, so you are going to need three splatter screens, one, two, three, and these are from Dollar Tree. They were two to a pack, $1 per pack, so this is a very, very affordable DIY, and it's nine inches by 13 inches. You can purchase from another store some that are bigger. I've seen some as long as 16 inches long, and about let's see this is not about 12 inches 10 12 inches wide okay so if you'd like to go to another store and purchase some bigger you're welcome to do that but this size is good for me so you need the racks and then you need four zip ties push comes to shove and if you're at home and quarantined you can use ties from your loaves of bread you can do that my husband had some of these already, I believe at um, Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that, Menards. You can purchase these in a pack. I think that's where he got his from, from Home Depot. But these are zip ties. And then you're gonna need aluminum foil. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and, oh, and you will need scissors to cut the zip ties at the end. But this is a very simple process. So what you're gonna do guys is just line your splatter screens up like so, side by side with the little feet up for now. And we're gonna go ahead and get the zip ties on. So we're gonna put them through. And just make sure they can turn over, which they can. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one up at the top. Bring that down a little bit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the other two cooling racks. And there we go. 
So right now we're going to go ahead and cut the ends off. I don't know, that seems like a lot to waste, doesn't it? <laughs> so you're going to cut off close to the bottom. Cutting off all four zip ties. Just cutting off the tails. And there you have it. You're able to fold it flat when you get done. But anyway, now we have to put the aluminum foil on. So we're going to turn it over with the feet facing down because you want to put the aluminum foil on that side because if you put it on the other side, the feet could puncture the aluminum foil when you put it on. So this is a nine by 13 inch. So we are going to, kind of one reason why I did it on this measuring thing here. We're gonna measure out an inch longer than the length of the aluminum foil. So you're going to cut three pieces of aluminum foil. Okay, so now I have three pieces of aluminum foil. And I'm going to place it face down. I put the shiny side down. I don't know why I just like the dull side facing the that will be facing the grease. So I'm going to put that on like so. And when you get to the place where it folds in, it's very easy, uh, it's bendable. So you just wanna stick the aluminum foil in like that. Just kinda of raise this side up and stick it in. Hopefully you can see that. And then you're just gonna fold it under that first cooling rack. First side is done. Now I'm going to move on to the middle. You guys might have asked what's going to keep the zip ties from just slipping everywhere on each end. When you get the aluminum foil on, that helps to keep them intact. So you do the middle the same way. Make sure you center it. And start at these ends first. And you do the same thing here. You're going to tuck the aluminum foil right under this last spoke. You're just lifting up and pushing that in between. And you're going to do the same thing on this side. Just lift and tuck it through there. Let me do it the other angle because I don't think you can see. You're lifting this side and tucking it through. I kind of like to do it the neat way like this, but there, there is an easier way. You can put the aluminum foil on first and then poke the holes through there, but then that risks a lot of tearing here when you open and close it if you put it through the aluminum foil rather than through the metal you know, stakes. So I like to do it this way. It takes a little longer, but it's worth it. Okay, and then for the overhang, after you tuck it through, you just bend it under. And there you go. On to the next. Do the next one the same way. Okay, I've done the third one. I wanted to show you this before I finished up, though. Some people may be tempted, and you can go ahead and do this. It won't hurt anything. Um, some people may not want to go through the trouble of tucking it in, even though it doesn't. It takes about a minute and a half to, you know, tuck each side. But some people might just want to leave it, leave the flap like this, because you're going to fold it. And when you unfold it, all you have to do is, is flare it back out. So whatever your fancy, <laughs> whatever your fancy, some people, you know, take shortcuts and that's okay. I do too sometimes. So whichever way you want to do it, I'm going to go ahead and tuck mine through. And it's very easy, you all, to take a hot dishcloth 
you know, a hot towel, maybe a disinfectant wipe or something and just wipe down the grease when you get done with it. It's very easy. And just, you just wipe it down and you can have several uses out of this before you change the aluminum foil. But this will keep your walls and things around your stove. Like you might have a, to I have a toaster right near my stove. I don't have a lot of counter space. So I have to put things where they have to go. Uh, and the toaster is like right by the stove. The dish rack is not super far. So I want to protect those items as much as I can. So this is a good, good, good way to do it. And it folds away so easy. Folds flat just like that. And you can store it in your cabinet or under your stove. If you have a drawer under your stove, you can store it there or wherever you have to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it will help you. So please share this video on your Facebook or you know your other platforms because I'm sure other people would like to know. Everyone probably has this problem. All right, guys, be blessed. And I'll see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.